CC Scatterize is found under the Simulation category, and this effect, when applied to a layer, separates every single pixel of the layer. So with this scatter value, if I just increase it, it's going to shoot off every single pixel from the layer in a different direction, which looks a lot like my logo is just turning into a cloud of dust and eventually getting so spread out that it basically disappears. I'll reset that, and we also have the ability to twist the right side or twist the left side in either direction, as well as change the transfer mode from compositing to, say, screen. And then as soon as I scatter it, you see that all of those pixels switch to the screen mode or add or alpha add. Now, what if you wanted to twist this effect on the Y axis instead of the X axis? Well, let me reset that and we'll add a transform effect just before the CC scatterize. And we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. So I'll type in 90 degrees on the rotation. Then I'll duplicate that transform with Control or Command D and set this to a negative 90 degrees rotation, and then drag it below CC Scatterize. So let me collapse these up so we can take a look. First, I'm rotating the layer, then I'm applying CC Scatterize, and then I'm rotating it back. So now if we go to CC Scatterize and right twist, it's actually gonna come from the top instead of the right, because we're actually rotating the layer before it's twisted, and then rotating it back. So if I reset this and we just add a couple of keyframes here, and then go back to the beginning of my composition, I'll just scatter this out and really twist it a lot. Press U to bring up my keyframes and easy ease all of them. Go into the graph editor and make that just a little bit more dramatic. And then just shorten this up a bit so it only lasts about a second and a half. And then play it back. Now I have this twisty sandstorm revealing my logo. Now this does pop pretty drastically on the last frame. So what I could do is add a CC composite which just recomposites the original layer back on top before any of the effects were applied. Make sure RGB only is unchecked, and then I can just fade in the opacity over the last few frames. So probably starting right about here, I'll turn the opacity down to zero, set a keyframe, and then go to the second set of keyframes and fade that back up. So now if I play this back, we should get a much more gradual fade into my final logo. And there you have it. And that's CC Scatterize. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.